Hi there, Mike Leskin here. I wanted to show you this iOS 18.5 Safari issue with saving files and some possible workarounds. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the settings and I'm going to show you that for, uh, for Safari, I do have the downloads directory set to save the files in a specific place on the iPad. So we'll go down into Safari and there's an option here that says downloads. And you say on my iPad and it says in the downloads directory. And if we actually go into the files app, you can see there is on this iPad, let's go to on this iPad, and you'll see there's a downloads directory. And there's some files in there. And this is theoretically where files that you download from Safari should end up. So I'm going to go ahead and run the ABC transcription tools here. And I'm going to add some tunes. I say, okay, so now I've got these three tunes and I want to save this ABC file. So I say save. I'll just use the default name and I'll say, okay. It says, do you want to download the Cooley set? And you say, okay, download. And in theory, the way it used to work on iOS 17 is if we went back into the files app and looked in the downloads directory, there should be a file here called Cooley set. It's not there. And this is a bug in iOS 18.5. has nothing to do with my code. So let's go back into Safari here. And where is it? Okay, well, it's, it's in a kind of limbo state. It's in this downloads directory for Safari that isn't exposed in the Files app and isn't on iCloud. So what I've done is I've actually set up uh, on my uh, iPad, I have the program called GoodReader. And GoodReader is a PDF reader, but it can also read ABC files. And I have it set so that when you open up a PDF file or open up an ABC file, it will open in GoodReader. So if I just click on this, it will actually open it in GoodReader. And now I have the, here's the ABC uh, from, from the tool. And then I can do something with this. this. And this file, actually, if we look now in the files tool, if we go into on my iPad and we go into GoodReader, you'll see at the very top here is coolyset.txt. So I'm able to transfer it to another program. And then from there, it's available. And now I can even open it from the tool. So if I restart the tool and I say open, I can say choose file. I can actually go into on my iPad, GoodReader, and you'll see the Cooley set is there. Okay. So that's a an inelegant but possible workaround for this stupid iOS 18.5 problem. The same thing applies if you're doing a PDF. So if I do export PDF, I'll just leave everything at default. So do export, generates the PDF file. You say download. That's great. Again, it's not in the files directory. It, it's stuck in this weird state right here. So I can click on it, that PDF file opens in a little viewer, I guess, inside of um, Safari, and I can say open in GoodReader. And now I have that PDF available and I can do something with it. Another option is to just avoid using Safari entirely on iOS 18.5 and use Chrome instead. So I'll go ahead and launch Chrome here. I've got the tools loaded and I'll say add. I'll do the same thing I did before. One, two, three files. I've got the three tunes here and now I'll say save. And this time um, I'll, just, uh, I'll just say Chrome so we can distinguish it from the other one. We'll say okay. And you can see at the bottom it says uh, Cooley's Chrome set.txt, just save. I want to save it in files. And now if I go into the files program and I go to Chrome, you'll see it has a downloads area and you can see Cooley's Chrome set is now saved in the Chrome area. And that makes it possible if you get access to it from the tool loading the file back in itself or emailing it to yourself or that sort of thing. So it is unfortunate that Apple broke file saves in Safari in iOS 18.5. This is not something that is specific to my program. If you even try to download an ABC file off of, let's say, the session.org, you will run into exactly the same problem. So anyway, I wanted to show you a couple of workarounds. I know I've moved kind of quickly, but the basic idea, again, I'll just do it one more time for you, is if you want to get access to your ABC files, uh, from Safari, what you're going to need to do is, again, save. You can save it. We'll just uh, say Cooley Safari set. And we'll say OK. 
download. And now it will be stuck in this weird downloads directory here. And I've um, set it up so that those open up in um, Goodreader. Uh, the way that you would actually set those up to open in Goodreader is you're going to need to do this one time, is you can take any text file. Just get a text file on your device. And when you open, sorry, we'll do that again. So in here, there's a share option in the files program. Share. And then you want to pick a program that you want to use to view that kind of file. And once you do that one, so if I say share in Goodreader, at that point, all .txt files will then always open inside of Goodreader. So if I go back into files and I pick any of these text files here, you can see that they will just automatically open inside Goodreader. I happen to like Goodreader as both a text reader as well as a PDF reader on iOS, so I would suggest uh, doing that as well. I think it's fairly inexpensive, like $5, but it's really, I think, probably one of the best PDF readers for iOS there is. So anyway, again, just wanted to pass that along as a workaround for this iOS 18.5 Safari issue until such time as Apple issues some kind of workaround.